planet is getting hotter. Atmospheric carbon dioxide is increasing. Carbon dioxide is higher in the atmosphere today than it's been for literally millions of years. The extra carbon dioxide comes from our actions, not because of organic changes to our planet. Burning billions of tons of carbon-containing fossil fuels and destroying carbon-containing land are primary contributors. Farming and livestock emitting methane also add to the impact on our atmosphere. In August 2021, the foremost scientific review council, the IPCC, concluded, it is unequivocal that human influence has warmed the atmosphere, ocean, and land, and no longer considered merely a hypothesis. The Paris Agreement in 2015 created commitments by countries around the globe to limit increase in temperature to 1.5 degrees Celsius and accompanying net zero carbon emissions. The current track is approximately three degrees based on government policies today commitment to net zero. The increase since our industrial era in the beginning of the 20th century is currently at approximately 1.1 degrees Celsius. This is already affecting weather and climate extremes in every region across the globe. In other words, it's not just temperature that's changing. Sea levels are rising, weather patterns are changing, and heavy rainfall is becoming even more extreme. The last ice age was just four degrees Celsius colder than the century before. Every degree Celsius will save people's livelihoods and people's lives. That's climate change today. What about tomorrow? As long as we keep emitting, the world will keep warming. Every bit of CO2 emissions adds to global warming. What happens in the future is more than just the global average temperature. The more we emit, the more we heat the planet. Many of the climate changes we are incurring now are irreversible. Nowhere is that more clear than the most famous impact of climate change sea level rise. A significant barometer of sea level rise is the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, also known as the AMOC, which shifts water and heat around the globe. A 2021 study reported that there has been an unprecedented weakening of the AMOC during the past millennium, an indication that the change was caused by human actions. The AMOC has already slowed by about 15% with impacts now being seen. Another study in Nature Climate Change analyzed eight independent AMOC indices and concluded the system is approaching collapse. It is clear that everyone has a role, both personal and societal, to take action and correct climate change. Planet Earth is everyone's business unequivocally. Art attracts attention and can be brought to focus on complex issues in a uniquely visual way that is visceral and cerebral. Ocean ecosystems remain the epicenter of global warming, and the artist's work has been deeply inspired by the beauty of the oceans. Her climate change series of paintings heighten awareness that much work needs to be done. The artist uses the neo-baroque costumes of the celebrations of the Altiplano in the Andes to show the duality between the indigenous Spanish Catholicism and its aestheticism on one side and made an Asia brand of these same costumes. By placing these subjects in a nature overly solicited by globalization, the artist questions the evolution of our society. I have photographed on every continent except Antarctica. I focused on Asia because there are many tribes there in remote places. I admire human genius and discover cultures that live off the grid while maintaining their cultural identity, instructive examples of how we all evolve. The artist's work reflects on the politics of contested notions of linguistics, identity, borders, universality, colonization, mental and physical confinement, and the inherent dualism that exists within each. The images presented undulate between photography, traditional, and digital storytelling. <laughs>